just to review how how you would use Microsoft Word first thing you would click on uh, the start button and then click all programs then you have to more or less scroll down to the bottom of the screen where you can see Microsoft Office you click on that with your left mouse button then you look for the blue W which is Microsoft Word you click on that and there's Microsoft Word the first thing you might want to do is set the margins because uh, they might be just a bit too big so you would click file and go down to something called page setup uh, which is down here and on page setup you see uh, margins and you can you can make the margins smaller by clicking this little arrow that uh, one centimeter is probably a good a good place to start so and you can make the left margin smaller and the right margin they don't have to be the same but something like 1.4 1.5 and uh, click OK at the bottom and then you'll notice the left margin is quite a bit smaller now you can start I'm gonna press enter first and then I'm gonna start typing some sentence like the rain in Spain okay the rain okay so the uh, fonts are not very large so I probably would drag my cursor from the far right over to the left highlighting all that then I would go up to where it says boldface B so I would click B for boldface and I would choose a larger number for the font size so let's say 20 that would make it much larger and anyway you might wonder why Spain is underlined um, with a red squiggle that's because the computer doesn't like my spelling so if I click up where it says ABC up here in a check mark the computer will check my spelling and it's gonna ask me if I would like to have a capital letter like right here or was I trying to type this word or spin or span but I want the top word Spain so I click change change and then the spelling check is finished so I say yes and then you'll notice that Spain has a capital letter uh, and then I click OK and that's fine now I should move my cursor to the end of the sentence because I want to press enter to go to the next line and I'll just uh, type some more stuff like the uh, quick brown uh, quick the yeah, okay okay so now I can highlight that sentence and if I uh, decided to underline that sentence I would click this U over here on the top right corner U and then I have to click my mouse once uh, so otherwise you don't see the underlining till I click my mouse okay so that got underlined now I don't want to keep underlining because if I if I don't cancel the underline it'll just keep underlining and I can backspace out any any letters I don't want I press backspace so I go back there and I click on the U to get rid of the underlining and then I can just uh, type some more okay okay using Okay, so now let's say I want to change the color of the fonts that 
I would drag my mouse over that sentence. Whoops, I, sometimes it slips off. I have to do it over again. And then I go up to this uh, capital A with the red underline up in the right hand corner. Right up in here I click the arrow and I click blue because I like blue. But you can't see the blue. Uh, in fact it even looks yellow until you click your mouse. Okay, now it's blue. And then I'll, um, I can also uh, say copy this sentence, like uh, drag my mouse over. I can go up to edit and copy. And then I can, I'm pressing enter to go to the next line. If I press twice, if I press enter, every time I press enter I get another space. And if I don't want that many spaces, I, I press backspace, takes me back up. Now I can click edit and paste, so I, I could keep pasting that same sentence. But now I want to change the color to red, so I click the uh, capital A and uh, the little arrow and I select red. And I, it is, doesn't look red until you click your mouse and then sure enough it's red. Okay, so what else, what else can we do here? We probably should uh, save this document. You can actually insert a picture into your document. If I click insert and then it says picture, I insert a picture from a file. The file would be somewhere on your computer. You would have to find the picture. I've got lots of pictures here. Um, uh, let's see if we have a people picture. Oh, let's try this one. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I actually wanted... Oh, well, that's good enough. I can I can choose this picture here. Um, any one of these would be fine. Don't even know who these people are. But, yeah. And then you can... Uh, you can actually make the picture uh, larger or smaller, uh, except you have to try and keep the same shape as it was before, otherwise the people get distorted. So anyway, I just added, I added a picture. Uh, let's do one more. We click insert and click picture from a file. Then you go through your computer and see if you can find some pictures. Um, most of these are people pictures, so here's somebody. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so anyway, they're a bit on the large side, so I, I click down at the bottom where you see the double arrow. Oops. Uh, then I click my mouse and drag it up and uh, then I do the same from the side. I click the click this little black spot, uh, drag my mouse, hold my left key down, drag the mouse in, and then it's uh, it's not a just dis not distorted. So anyway, uh, okay. Now that you uh, created a document, it's probably a good idea to save it. So you click file. And the first time you save it, you have to give it a name. So you click Save As. And um, uh, most of the, all these will go into a folder called My Documents. I have all these other folders, but I can just uh, give it a name like uh, in this blue area. While it's blue, down at the bottom here, I can just type Test. I use, don't need test number one, da, test dash one or 12 or whatever, uh, A or X or Z or whatever. And then I click save. So the next time, um, uh, let's say I, I'll st start with um, a new document. Oh, okay, a blank, blank document. So next week I want to come back and 
add some more to my uh, word processor. So next, when I when I click on Microsoft Word and I want to get back the file I saved, I click File and Open, Open, and then I look for. It's probably way over on the right side. I look for. Um, uh, where did it go now? Uh, test all oh, right there. Can't see it. So I, I just double click on test number twelve, or I click, or I click once and then I click open. That's the same thing as double clicking. So I click open, and there's there's all my the same stuff. So I can go down to the bottom and I can click my mouse there and press enter to get to the next line. Then I can continue uh, with, uh, whoops, I, I've got capital letters. Uh, now I'm continue, uh, oh, uh, continuing uh, with my document. Okay, but I don't need capital letters, but that's fine. Uh, whatever. That's all I want to say about Microsoft Word for now. Okay, well that's about it. I'm gonna. Okay, how do I stop? Uh, there it is. Okay, stop.